The Simple Rockets 2 Update 0.9.904 is finally here. It was originally supposed to release on March 18th for mobile, but it released it in March 16th. In this video, you will see then West features of this update. The update has new parts too, and the most exciting feature, procedural parachutes. This polishes Simple Rockets 2 for the official release. Simple Rockets 2 1.0 that introduces career mode. But without further ado, let's get to these new features. I almost forgot to mention Thada mod is now built in in the game. We'll mention the new feature zone by one and tell you what they do. Now, let's get into it before that jet in the background crashes to the Simple Rockets to VAB. 1. New and renamed parts. There are now new parts and also parts that have been renamed. Let's start with the new parts and then move to the two renamed parts. Drogue Shoot, used to slow the craft down and all for the main one to deploy. Wyvern Engine, a sophisticated methylox engine with great efficiency, thanks to one of the most advanced pump systems ever seen. Spirit Engine, this engine is not about power, but about precision. Capable of small orbit and altitude adjustments, this engine is a must in any deep space mission. This is also the new monopropellant invention by the devs of Simple Rockets 2. Wow! If for its solid booster, powerful and cheap, but inefficient, cannot be shut down once ignited. Piston Lead, a small and simple landing lead, capable of slowing down fine packed of moon landers. KIS Lead, a very advanced and modern landing lead that will allow you to bring down the rockets off the future. Although the KIS Lead reminds me of the new Shepard's landing lead. Now, let's move on to the parts that are renamed. Merlin Lead, previous name Landing Lead, a sturdy set of legs useful for landing without smashing into the ground, with great arrow for how far they can deploy. Phoenix Solid Booster, previous name, Solid Rocket Motor, an extremely powerful solid rocket motor, brute forces its usefulness through sheer power with no concern for efficiency whatsoever. 1.3 Viewing Engine and RCS Exhaust No Possible In this update, we can view engine exhausts now. This is a good feature for people that want the engine tobe efficient and have no overexpansion and underexpansion. It also works on jet engine S and RCS engines too. It also works on the Komodo capsule too. 1.5 Revamped exhausts of RC sand ion engines. The ion engine you see here has a new and beautiful exhaust. The ion engine also has new settings. The old exhaust looks nothing like the Ireland exhaust and the new exhaust. The RCS exhaust also became more beautiful. It's becoming more like the Ireland RCS exhaust. 2. New Rocket Revamp The new rocket has a parachute and also an astronaut inside the capsule. 2.3 Stock Rockets Revamped All of the stock rockets have been revamped. Let's start with the Simple Beast. The Simple Beast now looks more off a Saturn V now. Some updates of the Simple Beast are 1. Added some labels Labels were added in 09, 5, 06. 2. Abort Tower now works. 3. Some astronauts are added in the capsule I think. 4. Drogue shoots are added. And somehow the command POTUS named the Bruno capsule. I think it reminds me of. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. On the simple heavy, it hasn't changed much for the looks of it except for the 2ND stage and its payload. The fairing also changed. The second stage now has an extending nozzle, and the payload is now a little test payload. It's payload in the previous version's ESA telescope. Simple Cargo also has labels, and either's a working telescope that can zoom into some planets and moons. It also has the new monopropellant engine I think. 2.5 Engines can be put on the side of fuel tanks without fuel adapters. Now, the engines can be put on the side of fuel tanks without a fuel adapter. It means the fuel adapter is at a curation part now. RIP fuel adapter usefulness. You will be missed. 3. Procedural parachutes. The parachutes have become procedural with a lot of settings like deployment and inflation altitudes max deployment speed, auto cut altitude, parachute height, cord length, and base size. It also has two styles for its base. You can also see the deployed parachute to here in the designer. Two amazing, 
The settings on previous versions are only these settings. 3.3 .3 New Parachute states, when the parachute isn't on the right altitude and speed to deploy, its state is armed, meaning ready to deploy and you can't deploy the chute yet. When they deploy, there is a percentage on they deploying meant to represent the progress in completing the deployment. It's the ties deployed after deployment completes. Now, it's inflating to its full size. It also is a percentage for the inflation of the parachute too. After it finishes inflating, its state is inflated. When the craft arrives to the altitude you set to cut the parachute, the parachute automatically disappears, or cuts, and also removes the part that has the parachute. Its state is now cut. Then the main chute deploys, and it's kind of the same process, except that the don't cut on landing, and just deflate back to deploy it, state. When it lands, the inflating percentage goes down and becomes the deployed state again. Well, it impacts the ground this time instead of knocklipping a part of it through the ground. When you deactivate the parachute, its state becomes cut. When you press repack, it spawns the top of the parachute. Repacking is required for the chutato be deployed again. When you press repack, its state is packed. Packed means the parachute is now packed. 4. Max throttle setting. The max throttle setting now can be changed. This can be perfect for delta for heavy launches as they use a lower throttle on the center core when the boosters are rather conserving fuel. The boosters have a higher throttle than core. When they jettison, the main core increases its throttle to 100%. But if you set the max throttle above 100, it will take damage and eventually explode because of throttle override. 5. Can resize some parts without tinker panel. Now, you can resize some parts without tinker panel now. Like this camera. The effects of the size change is its zoom capabilities. Other parts that can change size with the tinker panel now are as follows. RCS nozzle, RCS multidirectional nozzle and engine, gauge, rotator, hinge rotator, piston, light, and beacon light. They can also push parts away and also pull them while resizing those parts. 5.3 New Visi Event There is a new Visi part in events called Broadcast with Data to Nearby Crafts. It's supposed to broadcast the message with data to nearby crafts. If the other craft is too far away, the message can't be broadcast to that craft too far away from your craft. 5.5 Visi Program and some electric helpers now really depend on electricity to work. Now, when the battery runs out oral fuel tanks with batteries gets damaged in your craft, it says this. Your Visi program has run out of juice. Charge your batteries for it to resume its program. It also makes pistons, hinge rotators, and sand rotators to also stop working. So better watch out for your craft battery level, or this could happen. 6. Wings have fuel tanks. Now, wings have fuel tanks now. In real life, the wings also have fuel tanks. Realistic indeed for space and aviation lovers in simple rockets too. 7. Engines can work underwater now. Instead of the water turning off engine and even solid rocket motors, now, they work in water now. But it's slower on getting down to the ocean ground. This doesn't work on jet engineists thought. Watch the engines work on water now. Amazing. Useful for making replicas of Thesey Dragon, and also launching the Sea Dragon. It's also useful for boats too, think because Athe can propel boats on the water now. Also useful for submarines and simple rockets too. 8. Overload is now built in. Just like Simple Planes has overload built in in the game, Simple Rockets to now also has overload built in in the game now. To access it, press Edit Hidden Properties. You can see that it replaced the Add Flight Program button here, and there are new settings here. The Prevent Debris button is moved from the top of the Show Hidden Properties button to the bottom of Include in Drag and the top of the new Cast Shadows button. The Cast Shadows button is for enabling shadows on that part. If Cast Shadows is disabled, it won't cast any shadows to the terrain or the craft. The Add Flight Program button is moved from place of Edit Hidden Properties on this update, 
to the advanced part settings below the view command pod button. The show hidden properties button is moved from below prevent debris button tote button of the fuel line button. Stage activation is moved from below the supports transparency button in tinker panel to below the show hidden properties button in feedvanced part settings. The supports transparency button is moved from the collision response setting in tinker panel to the top of the occlusion setting in tinker panel and below the cast shadows button. Instead of pressing edit ZML, you of course, press edit hidden properties to access overload. Here's what appears when you press edit hidden properties. That's what would you see in overload when it wasn't built into the game back then. That creator of overload would cease operations with the mod overload as the mod was no built into the game. Anyways, that's what would you see. I don't know what the apply button doso tell me in the comments on what does it do. The settings and input controllers here vary in what part you selected. The plus button kinda names an input controller here, and the X button deletes the input controller I think. Now, let's move to the other input controllers on this part. This is the part ZML settings, fuselage ZML settings, configuration ZML settings, and drag ZML settings. All of this in the overload mod vary out what parts you choose. This is a big game changer for mobile users like me, as we don't need to go to editing apps, edit the ZML, and go back to the game and load the craft, and see if you did it right, and everything works. Now, you are in the game every time you edit ZML of your craft. Amazing! Last, but not least, 9. Part Connections Tool now has its own tool icon. The Part Connections Tool used to be below the Auto Resize Parts in the Move Part Tool. But now, the Part Connections tool has a new tool icon and is below the Paint tool. The icon resembles a purple plug near a purple plug like socket that resembles theme about to connect to each other. Amazing! You have reached the end of the video. I have some things that I didn't tell you yet simply because they are too minor or Beko say don't want to test them. As always, there are many bug fixes. And the feature I didn't explain, that there are two new warp modes, that are 20 times faster than the previous warp mode, which literally warps you years to the future. That increases the amount of warp modes from 10 warp modes to 12 warp modes. I don't know what happened to the mountain base now though. We will wait for version 1.0 with career mode. Bye for now.